Hey guys, um, for today we're gonna switch things up a little bit. Like normally we do mobility, but today let's do some ab work. It's something that I wanted to do anyway, and I was about to do my ab routine, and then I realized, eh, why well, that, you know, can be done not alone instead of that I can have some company. Anyhow, we're going to do um, five movements, four rounds. It is 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, four rounds for the five movements. So we're going to go ahead and review the movement. So instead of uh, mobility, like what we usually do in the evenings, today we're going to do some ab work. First, and that's the one movement that's the most complicated. That's why I let it to be the first part in the set. Uh, because we do five movements of so 45 seconds work, then 15 seconds of rest. And after the fifth movement, we take one minute off. Uh, the first one has two options. And grabbing a pair of kettlebells here. So it could be done with, without weight, without the band, or with the band, with weight, all sorts of variations here. So let's uh, go ahead and view the movement. So the movement is a dead bug march, which could be done body weights in this position, lower back pressing into the floor, lift your shoulders off the ground, extending one leg and opposite arm, okay? So that's one variation, that's if you do body weight. Now if you happen to have a short band, you can put that across your feet, then your knees will be bent, and from here I'm going to kick straight forward and reach away with my opposite arm. Again, while I'm trying to maintain the lower back flat. And lastly, the option is to do it weighted and with the back. Shoulders off the ground, I have to get the over. And it is that version that I personally will be doing for today. Uh, I just find it to be the most productive if you have the right equipment. Next, 45 second plank. Nothing complicated. Let's still uh, review that anyhow. When you go to a plank, instead of having that sag midline, shrugged shoulders, press into the floor, rock your weight forward, pull the shoulders back. You can choose to do that on your hands or elbows. I don't care, that's up to you. Now, a skill that we often use is V-ups. For today, we'll do straddle ups. The straddle up is actually an easier version of the movement compared to a V-up because your center of balance is a little closer to you, but it is a little more challenging because it's unusual and because also it requires more mobility and hip flexor strength. So on the V-up, you normally have Together. On the straddle up, your feet are apart. Okay? Um, so, the straddle ups, let's go over that. You're starting fully flat on the floor, your feet are wide, open to a nice little straddle, and from here, you're going down and up, just like so. Uh, give me one second, guys. Guys, music interference. I'm bad because I just had to ask people to stop playing the music. Uh, anyhow, uh, we were at the straddle ups. So that's like a V up with your legs straddled up. So scaling, just like a um, V up will be scale. The first version will be a tuck up. Next version will be any type of sit up. So this one is active. Then, 
pretty straightforward hollow hold. On the hollow hold, you've got option for a full hollow that everything is nice and extended, arms down, one leg in, both legs in, or even brace to the arms. What you want to maintain is a flat lower back compressing into the floor. And lastly, a Russian twist with no weight. We're going to lift the feet off the ground and try to reach left and right, but instead of using your legs as a counterweight by kicking opposite directions, we want to try to maintain the, as close to the center as we can with the legs. Cool. So, it is 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest of all four movements. Sorry, five movements. The whole thing is going to be four rounds, so we are looking at uh, 23 minutes, something like that, with a minute of rest in between the rounds. 10 seconds. Alright, the marching board is first. Next off, plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Throw drag the shoulders, rock the way forward, squeeze your glutes and tuck the hips under you. Next off, straddle ups. You can do a V up, you can do a tuck up, you can do a sit up. Try to control both ways of the movement. Alright, so that was the startups. Hollow hold into a Russian twist. So five movements, 45 seconds of work, into 15 seconds of rest for four rounds with a minute of rest in between. Hollow hold everyone. modifying the pushes, positions as I go.
two, one. Russian twist next. We've got no weight, feet off the ground variation. Just try to maintain the center line with your feet as much as you can. Left hand stops the right side, right hand stops on the left side. That's the goal. Just write the movements down, set your own clock and do it anytime you want. Five movements back to back, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. I'm doing four rounds, but three rounds are a great option. Two rounds are good. You want to just warm up, maybe one round of that actually is a good warm up. I would not do more than one if I want to treat it as a warm up. in five seconds get ready let's go so this routine is very sneaky because you do not feel out of breath at any point but by the fourth round you're definitely going to feel every single muscle to your midline I love the straddles in particular because they target uh, my hip flexors very differently than a V up hold.
why I use a lot of uh, timed drills versus reps. Uh, I'm really bad at counting. Just makes my life easier. Hollow hold. Shoulders off the ground, lower back down, feet together, toes pointed. Feel free to break it earlier. This time I was starting to fail, so quit about 4 seconds before the timer. Russian twist next, then that will be the end of round 2. Um, yeah, nice little. I like this as a post workout ab routine. For the Russian twist with no weight, feet off, opposite arm touches the floor. Try not to move the legs though. Try to keep them in the center. is done, two rounds to go. So that next minute is a rest minute. 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. In between our five movements, complete five, um, four, three to five rounds. I'm doing four rounds, sticking in the middle. In terms of volume, I find that two rounds is a little too little, but three or more is where exactly where I feel like I get good gains with that routine. And um, I also feel like with three rounds or four rounds, you're still very time efficient, either hitting 18 minutes or hitting, uh, you know, 24 minutes is still not a huge chunk of time. After this beep, back to the marching dog. I'm doing the bended weight variation, but you can just do dead bugs. The main goal is lower back flat, keep the shoulders on the ground. Sorry, shoulders off the ground. Plank in three seconds. Let's go.
Cool. Stradovas. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm not able to maintain a full hollow with good form, so as you can see from the very start, I start with a hollow body position, but arms down. Actually, this time from the start, I'm going to switch it. Then I'll do 20 seconds on one leg, and then I'll switch 20 on the other. Start with five seconds, both legs straight. Switch. I guess technically with the way I set up my timer, I'm resting me at 15 between the rounds. And if you're doing that with me, uh, just follow the beeps and me. But um, if you do it on your own, ideally you set up a minute rest, but I didn't have that option with this type of timer. The smartphone timers are much more convenient to set up for this kind of stuff. 20 seconds.
three, two, one. Oops. I go sideways for this last round. Russian twist. Two movements to go. And just like last time, are we doing five seconds both legs straight? 20 seconds one leg, 20 seconds the other leg. If I lift my over head, my lower back lifts off the ground and that's not good. Made our final movement, Russian twists. guys so that was for today a little ab routine um, I'll post what it was in the YouTube video once I upload it if you like to do it have some fun with that